And I'm with Southport as well. I'm looking forward to this matchup in the middle of the ground. John o. Giles on Andrew Boston. Giles uh, was an absolute pest, and we see him already getting into Andrew Boston. But the Mexican wrestler, El Mucho, he won't take a backward step here. I think we're in for a ripping game. And great to see co-captain for Aspley back on deck as well, James Eyes. We're going to see him involved. But here is the first bounce, and it's Riley Staraj. So the winner gets the home grand final next week. The loser goes home. Opening bounce. Turner wins it down decisively for the Sharks. It comes straight out to Henderson for the Hornets. Sends it towards the half forward line. Two and two contest. Taylor oh, almost stuck a boot at it. Manteats thereabouts coming in very hard. Bokey gets it to Turner to Davis. Davis will send it forward about 30 metres. Fields was initially going to get there, but well done from Allen to chop it off. Bachelor intercepts. And now the Hornets can go from half back to half forward. Good mark from Nellis right on the wing. Back to Johnson. And he kicks it long. 101 inside forward 50. And that's a lovely mark by Josh Hall against Gavin Gross. And that's not easy to do, Bob Batty. Well, the former high jumper, the former NRL player, the former Gold Coast son comes in right from 50 for the first goal of the game. And it's there. He's an important player for him. Really had to take a big step up. He shoots for goal on the left foot from 40 metres out. Doesn't make the distance. Oh! The high jumper, the man that jumped a B qualifying mark for the Commonwealth Games. Well, the first mark it was at body to body. He took a big hanger that time and he kicks goal number two. They're both goals kicked for Southport the ball off that's Murdoch gets it down to O'Shea O'Shea has Dale running for him Ives in pursuit and the Aspley are pushing back they've got numbers here Southport Johnson at the back got over the back of a couple and Johnson was there and just put those big dukes up so Mitch Johnson comes in 38 metres, kicks it very high, but importantly, kicks it straight. The third one on the board for Southport. On there by Fields, just ball ends up with Turner there. That was a good piece of play, off to half forward. Shaw's the man there. They've got numbers here, Southport, everywhere. Shaw gets back on it, runs inside 50. They just chipped the ball forward. Ryan Davis is there. He's going to run into the easiest of goals he's kicked in a long time. And it's breaking the game open for the Sharks. Well done from Dawson. Craven a couple of metres of space. Normally a clean user and Aspley are away. That they are. Henderson has James Nellis. Has, wants to move the ball quickly. Does so. And now Stackelberg and also Freeman are there. But Stackelberg, that's Connor Stackelberg and race in. And get the first one of the game for the Hornets. Mante to the front. Spencer and Turner were there at the front. Mantee just drifted across. He puts it right in a dangerous spot. Just couldn't quite take it. Arnold just got it to work through. And Mitch Johnson off the ground. If you don't mind, that's two for Johnson. Being one of the best in this opening half. Sends it long. Johnson in a one-on-two. Neither could get it. Now Stubbs can give it up. And Hall has got daylight and grass. He knees it forward. Arnold trying to pursue. He missed it. Arnold did well to get there. Mutu with a reinforcement. This should be a goal for the Sharks. Stubbs falls over his feet. Johnson, there's a whistle. It's high. It's going the way of the Sharks. So Trent Stubbs, 18 goals in season 2019. That's number 19. And the Sharks... Are in front by five goals with about 31 minutes gone into this second quarter. Finds Craven, sends it forward for the first time for the Hornets. Murphy, will it slip through his hands? Nellis of the Blake variety forward. Stackelberg can take it. And that is just what Daniel Webster would have ordered to give Aspley a massive lift. Sets it on its way and the crowd will tell the story. That's number two for Connor Stackelberg. And inside the first 50 seconds, Aspley have their first goal of the second half. They only managed one in the first 6 4 40, the Sharks lead Aspley 2 4 16. Just rolls nicely, sits up, gives it off now back to Craven. So good run, good carry. The ball inside forward 50. The spoil away, gets to ground level, but they come through. Connor, well, in fact, it was uh, Cody Stackelberg there, got the handball away. Murphy feeds it off, goes to Connor Stackelberg around the corner, and it got there. So that's two in two minutes for Aspley. 
and here come the Hornets. And the Hornets can come. Cody Stackelberg, 75 metres out, sets it inside the forward 50. Freeman's got position! And Jono Freeman has kicked two behinds this afternoon. This is for his first and to bring it back to two straight kicks. 25 out, sets it on its way. And the umpire doesn't move a muscle. The Hornets are back in it in the first preliminary final. 12 points the margin, 6-4-40 to 4-4-28. They come away, Aspley, that's Dawson. Well done there by Murdoch, just palms Mason off after getting it away from Nellis. Pumps it back inside and Josh Hall's there. Turns around quickly, snaps it goal, and that's three for Josh Hall. And he has been a bit of a difference maker for the Sharks. Steps inside, now it's an open forward line, it's a one on one, but the one's Murphy against Taylor, that's where it goes. Taylor front spot, well done from Murphy from the back. He's got body position, Box Hill Billy, 15 metres out, and gets the Hornets fourth for the corner. As there's a whistle, and there's a bit of push and shove, and there's players coming in from everywhere. And I've got to say that uh, I think it's Jordan Taylor just frustration after he got beaten at the contest. It's a one-on-one -on -one long. That's Johnson. Couldn't quite take the mark. Good spoil at the back from Dawson. Contest coming up. Neither could get it. Davis is tied up immediately there in the middle from Cody Stackelberg. Moo to Fields. He's a lefty. O'Shea's got back spot. Did well to force the contest. Jack O'Shea, he's got an option wide. That's Manti. He can't quite reach it. He's in the pocket to put it out to 17. He's just got it. He's got it. It looked across the face from here, but he just snuck it in. And the Sharks send it back to 17 points. 8 4 52 to 5 5 35 17. Gone third quarter. Uh, good timing there, Bob. Spencer. Wins it down, goes to the backfield. He's a long left foot kick, 45 metres out. That's going to carry. Tom Fields has kicked the Sharks second in a row. That's his first of the afternoon. Mills about 75 metres out. Goes to Murdoch, who's a booming left foot kick. Sets it inside the forward 50. One on one in the goal square. Almost goes over the back. Dawson. Magnificent from Liam Dawson. He outbodied Tom Fields on that occasion. Payne just hit the ball over the back. Good tackle there by Giles as Bolch gets a quick kick away inside forward 50 and finds Connor Stackelberg. And somebody's been probably the most dangerous. You've, you've clearly got a point to him at three goals, two so far. So possession or disposal number 15. Going for goal number four, and that's a good kick. He likes it. The Aspley faithful like it. And the margin, it pushes back to 17 points. Where's Hall? Couldn't quite get there at the back. No mark taken. Bottom of the pack. Almost a hand pass out. O'Shea couldn't get it. There's, there's a free kick. It's a throw and it's gone against Aspley. I'd love to see that on the replay. I think we will. And the free kick will go to Tom Fields and you think for a player of his calibre. He'll kick it very nicely. As we have a look, Luke and Mason. Yeah, that's a free kick. Good call from the umpire. So Fields for two in the quarter, 35 metres out. And the umpire did not move at all. There's the quick reply for the Sharks. And that has come in the late stages of this third quarter. We've played oh, almost 30 minutes. It's Tom Fields second for this third quarter. Finds Lee Dale. Dale has five. He had five laterally. But coming down there was Boston. Boston. Just spots a target down inside forward 50, and it's Trent Stubbs. Tight angle to work with. Comes in, kicks it from 40 right on the boundary. That's close. That is a ripping goal right there. Very close to three-quarter time. A telling blow for Southport. Pushes the margin back out to 29 points. What a wonderful shot of goal, Bob. That was, it was a ripper, wasn't it? Like... You would have 36 players on the ground here that uh, had that shot at goal, and there'd be 35 that would miss, I'd say. That was a beautiful kick. Goes over the back. Manteep, he's got an option wide in shore. There are players everywhere in Southport's forward. 51 of them is Jack O'Shea. And he can have the shot from about 45 if he wants to. Amazing. So O'Shea, 45 metres out, sets it on its way. The umpire has not moved a muscle. And for all of the Hornets' hard work at the start of the quarter, they find themselves further down than they were at half-time. Tate 
Bokai. Looking for Jordan Taylor back there. Turnover. Bolch. Giles. Just off the ground this time. See ball. Get ball. Kick ball. Get goal. You miss Williams. Here's a chance. Payne over the top. He found the handball beautifully. Further handball. Aberley. The youngest on the ground. 45 metres out. Shows fades off ice. And Taj Aberley has given the Hornets a sniff. Two goals in a minute for Aspley. 22 points, they find themselves down 12 6, 78 to 8, 8, 56. They got as far, but Southport emerged with it. They go long, that was Clark down deep, and right there is Stubbs. So every time Aspley have challenged, Southport have been able to find the reply. And so Trent Stubbs, got one for the afternoon, comes in and uh, slots it through neatly. The umpire a little bit to do. Margin back to 28 points, sorry. Uh, Riley's just reminded me here that's three for Trent Stubbs. Getting away, Henderson will send it. A tumbling ball, but it's going to work out well enough. Connor Stackelberg. Now, Freeman is one out inside the forward 50. That's where it goes. It should work to the back. Freeman's got it, kicks it, goals it. So, John O. Freeman has kicked a goal. Boki, Ditto, Mackenzie Willis. All big names this afternoon, sends it long. Good kick, a good mark. That is Ryan Davis, all courage. The ex-West Coast Eagle and Gold Coast Sun. That's going to be a shot from the boundary. There's the siren for the second year in a row. That's a goal from the boundary. Michael Mantide. Which was from Michael Mantide, who's been so clean all afternoon. But for the second year in a row, the Sharks are into the Neeful Grand Final. Vinyl score, 14-10-94. To 9 4 64. Aspley tried their hearts out, but Southport just showed how good they were this afternoon.